I'm Alana, and I work in the games industry. Uh, today, some news was dropped about, uh, let me just pull the article over for you, shall I? WB Games Nemesis System patent was approved this week after multiple attempts. Uh, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment publishes of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and its 2017 sequel Shadow of War, both developed by Monolith Entertainment, have finally managed to secure a patent for the franchise's signature Nemesis system. I remember when this came out, um, I worked at IGN at the time, and... The Nemesis system is so cool. The way that it works is so, so, so cool. Uh, I wouldn't even really know how to describe it to anyone who doesn't know. Let me see if there's like a tidy description of it somewhere. It's basically a system that uh, allows certain enemies to kind of evolve in a ranks and a hierarchy and remember you and, and have their ranks escalated if you fight them and lose. Um, is incredibly cool. And when it came out, I remember having all of these conversations that were like, man, why haven't more games done this? I, I feel like every game is going to want to do this because it's just a really unique way to give a lot of vague enemy NPCs uh, a lot more depth, make them more menacing, make fights have a bit more meaning. Um, a really unique take on that combat system in a game where a lot of things weren't quite that unique, if I'm being totally honest. And I wanted to talk about this because I feel like a lot of the reaction that I'm seeing from, you know, the general public, your average gamer, um, doesn't understand why this system being patented or any system like it being patented is kind of awful <laughs> and could present some really big problems. But uh, I'll continue with the article before we, we get to that. The US Patent and Trademark Office released an issue notice on February 3rd, 2021, stating that the patent would go into effect on February 23rd of this year. Warner Bros has the option to maintain the patent through 2035, providing they keep up with the necessary fees. Patent filed as Nemesis System Characters, Nemesis Forts, Social Vendettas, and Followers in Computer Games effectively codifies the functions of Monolith's Nemesis System and the sum of its parts as the property of WB. It does go on to say that the language in the application is fairly obtuse, um, but patents generally always are. And the short version is that it covers a system featuring procedurally generated NPCs that exist in a hierarchy and interact with and will remember the actions of players, which again, such a cool thing about it. Um, have their appearance slash behavior altered by players and whose place in that hierarchy can change and affect the position of other NPCs in said hierarchy. Um, that's, you know, I guess that's how they describe it and why it was difficult for me to describe with uh, some images here kind of explaining how it works. So then I guess I should show you some of the comments I'm talking about just to illustrate that because I'm not a fan of people on the internet are saying without giving you actual <laughs> examples of what people on the internet are saying. Let me find it. So here are some examples of what I'm talking about here. Um, Dexter here said, I get being upset, but you can't hate on a company for coming up with an ingenious idea and then capitalizing on it by putting a patent on it. It would be stupid not to patent a, geni a genius idea for future use. It's their creation. I don't see the issue here. Those games are a lot of fun. They are not talked about enough. I do agree with that part. I do think the Nemesis system is absolutely fantastic. Why people moaning? They designed it and then went through the effort of putting it into a game. It belongs to them, so they have the right to protect it. Now, I do want to say that I was going to cover this person's tweet, but they seem to have already, you know, spoken about it. Definitely part of the issue with WB specifically doing this is that it seems really hypocritical um, because so many of the systems that already exist in Shadow of Mordor uh, are from other games. They are blatantly similar to Assassin's Creed, for example. But the issue is a lot broader than that, and it's an issue with patenting technology in general. On one hand, it is entirely possible that doing this means that WB will lease it to other studios. That is possible, but seems very unlikely to me. It does mean if they have that proper ownership, um, I'm sure that system was incredibly difficult to build, that they could let other people use it if they pay for it, which means it could be easier to get it into other games. I don't think that's likely to be what uh, the purpose of this whole thing is, though. In reality, this is a major issue and something that I definitely do not support. Um, you know, even if I, I agree, this is something that they made that's really, really cool. Um, I still feel like the dev team is probably not in support of this either. Even the ones who, who spent a really long time figuring this out and, and actually coding it. I would be very surprised if many people outside of the business side of this actually agree with this choice. The truth is, and a lot of game designers will say this, um, I have, you know, game directors who are close friends, like like Mike Bithell, who has said this on this channel, but it's also just something that uh, I feel like is, is fairly unanimous across the games industry. Every game has copied another game. <laughs> that is the truth of it. Every game that you play is iterative of another game uh, in a way that's very blatant and in a way that allows us to improve on systems that 
have already existed and make a lot of really cool stuff. For a really clear example, the developers of Neo Automata, uh, Platinum Games, when they said that they were figuring out what size the map should be, they basically just decided to make it the exact same size as Ocarina of Time. That's how they figured out the map size. But obviously it gets a lot more elaborate than that. But these things are things that game devs have not been shy about historically. And it's not copying um, because you can't really copy code that you haven't seen. You can take a system from someone else that you really like the look of and put it into your game. Obviously you would still have to build that system yourself, which is why things are different. It's how they improve. It's how they're iterated on. It's how games, the entire industry uh, as a whole is moving forward and figuring out cool ideas because people are taking this medium that is uh, tremendously difficult to even conceptualize and is becoming extremely collaborative by virtue of everyone kind of copying off of everyone else. This isn't something that should be seen as a slight. It's it's something that, that helps games going forward. And putting a patent on a system like the Nemesis system really just means that something that was very cool that could shape video games, that could have systems that players really, really enjoy, that could, you know, change and be refined by other studios for a really long time, is now limited dramatically, which limits every single studio who is working on a game where they might've wanted to do something creative like that with their hostile NPCs. It is a massive limitation to creative arts in general to do this kind of thing. For every pattern like this that passes, Every other game has to think, okay, well, we can't put this idea that we really like in, even if it's, you know, not a one-to-one -one from that game because we can't steal their code. Legally, obviously, because this this past, WB are legally allowed to do it. They are if within their rights to do it. I'm definitely not arguing that. It passed. They are legally allowed to do it, confirmed. And that, that spans off into another part of this that can become really difficult is, it is somebody's job to make sure that a game is not uh, violating a patent. That can cost thousands of dollars. That can limit studios really significantly because you have to make sure that you are not towing on the line of any other patent. People can be employed just to look out for patent issues. I've also personally known people who've worked on the patent side where they go through tons of materials trying to find violations to make the patent holder money. It can get really, really nasty, cost people a lot of money and limit things even if it's just because people are frustrated by the existence of these patents. One major issue with this is that it's pretty broad phrasing. It is limiting for a lot of reasons and potentially is stopping people from being able to create really cool antagonist systems because they made it so broad. I think it's also frustrating because WB aren't even using the system in other games. <laughs> like, it just stopped there. It just stopped with Shadow of War. Maybe if they were putting it into other games, like I really hoped that they'd put it in Mad Max. That would have been cool as hell, but they didn't. Then. I would maybe think, okay, well, they've used this a whole bunch of times. Maybe it's a little bit less exciting. Assassin's Creed does have a slightly similar system. There are other games that have toyed with this idea, but creativity in a lot of cases in a medium like this, where we're still even figuring out what the limits of it are, often comes from seeing another idea and making it a lot cooler. And then every single game after that gets cooler as a result. But if it's just straight up, nope, you cannot use this thing. Despite the fact that our game's really similar to Assassin's Creed, you cannot use this thing that is very broadly described. I mean, the wording of social vendettas is in there. Ultimately, while I, I do agree they're within their rights to do it, legally they are allowed to do it, it is limiting to video games as a whole. Every game that comes after this is limited by this patent existing. It costs developers money, it limits creativity, and it limits iteration. And our industry is one that is born of iteration and to suggest that it isn't is just naive. Game developers are inspired by other video games. That is a reality. They are inspired by other mediums and limiting that inspiration or telling us that we can't use a system like this with the broad phrasing of social vendettas means that any idea that you might've had that could loop into this system is just cut from day one. Even if that idea could have grown way beyond that and become a very different thing from the jump if it seems like it's going to violate that patent, it doesn't get created. So yeah, I hope this does even a slightly good job of explaining it to people who maybe don't understand kind of the breadth of why this really sucks. Uh, I'm also just always worried about the precedent of the more stuff that gets slapped with this kind of ban hammer effectively, the more limiting video games will become in the long run. I mean, this is until 2035. I just hope that, you know, since it's happened and isn't too likely to be reformed, that WB use it more at the very least, since nobody else can use anything even like it with that vague terminology. Such a cool system. It sucks to have it even like soured by this, you know? I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.